Hey guys, what's up? Another video here. Uh, picked up this Chinese 110 cc go kart. It's a kid's go kart. Um, my three year old drives it. My five year old drives it, and it probably fits my five year old about perfect. The three year old's a little, you know, can barely reach the pedals, but he can run it. I can fit in it. Um, my head sticks out through the roll cage, so not really good for an adult rider, but uh, they're actually, I was sort of impressed. They're, they ride pretty nice. So like most Chinese stuff, there is some, uh, most of these Chinese ATVs and pit bikes and stuff, there's some issues with them. Um, just show you real quick, a couple couple things here. So this is the 110cc uh, engine. Same style engine you'd find on four-wheelers and pit bikes, so that's nice uh, for getting parts and whatnot. It's all the same. Everything's just back here in the open. Um, it is a two-speed. Shifts just like, you know, shifts down here just like your pit bike would, but you got a nice hand shifter here, and it does have reverse, so um, you put a neutral. Reverse is nice, uh, and it's full suspension, so it's got rear suspension. It works well and the front suspension. Another nice feature that you don't find on many uh, the cheap go-karts is the steering rack, so instead of uh, direct steering, um, which is really fast and often really hard to turn for kids, it has a steering rack, so the steering isn't quite as quick and it's a lot easier um, for kids. Uh, yeah, seatbelts, uh, yeah, it's really pretty simple. Gas tank sits up here on this big rack. So some of the issues that this one had... Uh, Battery box, like these plastic covers, didn't seem to hold on real nice. Same thing with here. Your electronics are in here. So that's held on now with zip ties. These brackets that hold this up tend to break. So this one over here, I had to drill through and bolt. Uh, this right here is held with a piece of PVC and a clamp. I mean, it works. It's not great, but works for now because the last thing you want is that falling off, your gas tank falling off and getting a big dent in your gas tank. Yeah, a couple of the little things we ran into here. Um, the headlights don't work. Uh, I traced all the wiring back. The wiring's all fine. Turns out they just burn out. But uh, you can buy these headlights. Replacements for 20 bucks. Just, you know, sort of a pain that they don't work. Uh, the other, only other issue I really had with this thing was the tires leaking air. So, like these tires often do on these, they start leaking around here. So, you got to put tubes in the tires. So, no big deal. Threw some tubes in. Oh yeah, another, so this would be kill switch. It is electric start. Um, choke them back there. So, runs good, does have a horn. Which, uh, if you have little kids, a horn's really obnoxious because they love to press it and it's super loud. So, uh, something you might want to consider uh, getting rid of. But, uh, yeah, so, let's take this thing out, see what you can do. So I'm using a new app here. This one's actually going to give us uh, eight. Let's see, do I have this a zero to thirty mile per hour? If this thing can even go thirty, I'm not sure it can, but it'll record that. If it does, uh, it'll also give us an eighth mile time. So we'll try to run our eighth mile. In uh, you know, my other videos we've been using one that just does uh, top speed. So this one will also give us acceleration. So we can control that too. So.
24 miles an hour. Uh, unfortunately, 0 to 30, we never hit 30 miles an hour, so we have no 0 to 30 time. And our eighth mile is coming in at 48 seconds, I think, because we didn't drive an eighth of a mile. We hit our top speed much sooner than that, so that came in part way on the way home when I was just cruising. So it kind of, there's a sound these things will make. There's a reason they put those speed limbers on them. I mean, these things will run forever like that. So with that speed limiter, um, keeps you from ruining the engine. But the way I fixed that and got rid of that, we were able to really redline this thing. And I don't know what makes the sound. But there's a noise. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the video or not. Um, but it's like the valves are lifting or something. But it, it's like the sound you hear before things blow up.